Святой Иоанна на Елендовце, 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 на Елен και πάντα των Αγίων σου ελέησε και σώσει μα ω ο Θεό τη Φλάτοπο και λέει: Είμαστε αδιαφόρο των Αγίων Πατέρων ημών. Κύριε Σου Χριστέ, ο Θεό ημών, ελέησε και σώσουν ημά. Αμήν. Blessed is our God, who is known forever to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord God direct your steps. May the Lord God remember you in his kingdom always, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Theos, las me to nomatoloke le isome. O Theos, las me to nomatoloke le isome. O Theos, las me to nomatoloke le isome. Kyrie te chili mani exis ki to stoma mu anangeli. Tine nesisu. Brothers and sisters, forgive me a sinus. I kore somi to nomatolon. Evlogis on despota. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of God and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence and the fear of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Yerasimos, the honorable presbyters, the deacons in the service of Christ, and for all the clergy and laity, let us pray to the Lord. For our country, the president, and all those in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this parish and city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth and temperate seasons, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives and for their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, whose power is beyond compare and glory is beyond understanding, 
whose mercy is boundless and love for us is ineffable, look upon us and upon this holy house in your compassion. Grant to us and to those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong, O glory, honor, and worship, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Through the intercessions of the veiled talk of Savior, save us. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and do not forget all that he has done for you. Through the intercessions of the veiled talk of Savior, save the Lord in heaven has prepared his throne and his kingdom rules over all. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord our God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power. And do not forsake us who hope in you. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing to my God as long as I live. Sing us a song of God, risen from Blessed are those whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord their God. So, so, the Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, shall rule from generation to generation.
again and again in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Lord, you have given us grace to offer these common prayers with one heart. You have promised to grant the request of two or three gathered in your holy name. Fulfill now the petitions of your servants for our benefit, giving us the knowledge of your truth in this world and granting us eternal life in the world to come. For you are a good and loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let the heavens and earth praise him. When you descend to the realm of death, you as God. Mass and Lord our God, you have established in heaven the orders of hosts of angels and archangels to minister to your glory. Grant that the holy angels may enter with us, that together we may serve and glorify your goodness. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
Holy God, you dwell among your saints. You are praised by the seraphim with a thrice holy hymn and glorified by the cherubim and worshiped by all the heavenly powers. You brought all things out of nothing into being. You have created men and women in your image and likeness and adorned them with all the gifts of your grace. You give wisdom and understanding to the supplicant and do not overlook the sinner, but have established repentance as the way of salvation. You have enabled us, your lonely and unworthy servants, to stand at this hour before the glory of your holy altar and to offer to you due worship and praise. Master, accept the thrice holy hymn also from the lips of us sinners and visit us in your goodness. Forgive our voluntary and involuntary transgressions. Sanctify our souls and bodies and grant that we may worship and serve you in holiness all the days of our lives by the intercessions of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages.
The Lord is my strength and my song. The Lord has chastened me sorely. Wisdom. Ah. The reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Romans. Let us listen attentively. Brethren, since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. May God through him we have obtained the access to the grace in which we stand. And, and we rejoice in our hope of sharing the glory of God. You More than that, we rejoice in our suffering, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and, and, and endurance produces Jesus character. Christ. And character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, which has been given to us. While we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Why, one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps a good man, one will dare even to die. But God shows his love for us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we are now justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved from, by him from the wrath of God. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his son, much more now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. Not only so, but shall we also rejoice in God, through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received our reconciliation. Blessed be the reader. Save the king, hear us when we call upon you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, loving master, the pure light of your divine knowledge, and open the eyes of our minds that we may comprehend the message of your holy gospel. Instill in us also reverence for your blessed commandments, so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life, thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, Christ, are God of the light of our souls and bodies, and to you we give glory, together with your fathers without beginning, and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto you all. And with your spirit. The reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us listen attentively. The Lord said, the eye is the lamp of the body, so if your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is not sound, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light in you is darkness, how great is the darkness. No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor about your body, what you shall put on. Is not life more than food, 
and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin, yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O men of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things shall be yours as well. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Blessed is he who proclaims the Holy Gospel. Again, we bow before you and pray to your good and loving God. Hear our supplications, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of the flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also God progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and with love. Partake of your holy mysteries without blame, or condemnation and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. No one bound by worldly desires and pleasures is worthy to approach and minister to you, the King of glory. To serve you is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. But because of your inevitable and measurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as a high priest and Lord of all, and have entrusted to us a celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherubim, the Lord of the seraphim, the King of Israel. You alone are holy and dwell among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant, and cleanse my soul and heart from an evil consciousness. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so that vested with the grace of priesthood, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. To you I come with bow head and pray. Do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children. And make me your sinful and unworthy servant, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, Christ, are God of the offer and the offered, the one who receives and distributed. And to you we give glory, together with your eternal Father and your all holy good and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We who mystically represent the cherubim sing the thrice holy hymn to the life-giving trinity. Let us set aside all cares of life that we may receive the king of all, invisibly escorted by the angelic host. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Θυμία μας η προσφέρει με Χριστέα Θεό Σιμών. Ίσως μην ευωδίας πνευματικής, αντεβέψε με τη χάρη του Πανεγίου Σου Πνεύματος. Ελεήμων ελήσεων μας Θεός, κατά το Μέγα Ελέος Πλήθος των εκτιμών σου εξάλληψαν τον ομιμά μου, πιστεύω Θεός Σιμών. Και εσύ την δόξα μου, Θεό. Σύ τον άκου σου, Πατρί, και το Παναγίου σου, Πατρί, και το Παναγίου σου, και το Παναγίου σου, και το Παναγίου σου, και το Παναγίου σου, πιστεύω Θεός Σιμών. Πιστεύω Θεός Σιμών. Πιστεύω Θεός Σιμών.
Jesus, mind a fogyasz meg a ti kész. Az a becsüni ki kárintan. O Lord, bless these your servants, for you are Lord both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, bless these your servants, for you are Lord both now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. It is still for the sinner. It is still for the sinner. Brothers and sisters, se kore so mi te na martolom. Liste o theos imon. Liste o theos imon. Anevi o theos na lagmo, kirion fo nis alpigos.
us complete our prayer to the Lord. Lord For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. <laughs> For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. For forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For all that is good and beneficial to our souls, and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. For the completion of our lives in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. This, o Lord. For a Christian into our lives peaceful, without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Commemorating our all holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. Lord God Almighty, you alone are holy. You accept a sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their whole heart. Receive also the prayer of us sinners and let it reach your holy altar. Enable us to bring before you gifts and spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the transgressions of the people. Make us worthy to find grace in your presence, so that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you, and that your good and gracious spirit may abide with us, with the gifts you presented, and with all your people. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. I love you, Lord. You are my strength, my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. And Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and inseparable. Adores, guard the door. Wisdom, let us be attentive. 
I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and on earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and of his kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the ages to come, amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in awe. Let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts to the Lord. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and right. It is proper and right to sing to you, bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same. You and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, you brought us into being out of nothing. And when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from my hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and seraphim, six winged, many eyes, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out and saying,
together with these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so love your world that you gave your only begotten Son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us on the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands, gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fayete, tuto moestito soma, to eperimon clomenon, is afesina martion take it. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. O mios que to patirio metá tu dipnise legon, piek ex aftu pandes, tu to estito emamu, totis kenyis diathikis, to eperimon ke polone kienomenon, is afesin amartion, drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Amen. Remembering therefore this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts and all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship without the shedding of blood, and we ask, pray, and entreat you, send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here presented, and make this bread the precious body of your Christ, <coughs> and that which is in the cup the precious blood of your Christ, Amen. changing them by your Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. so that they may be to those who partake of them, for vigilance of soul, forgiveness of sins, communion of your Holy Spirit, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, not in judgment or condemnation. Again, we offer this spiritual worship for those who repose in the faith, for fathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, teachers, and for every righteous spirit made perfect in the faith. Especially from most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. To you, and Prophet Prodromic, the Sutra, and the Lord, and the Apostolic, and the Sutra, and the Lord, 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 and the Lord,
μέγα των Ματιστολίας Τριάδος, πάντα τενή και αε και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Μέγα των Ματιστολίας Τριάδος, πάντα τενή και αε και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Μέγα των Ματιστολίας Τριάδος, πάντα τενή και αε και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων αμήν. Νίστε τη Κύρια και του Δούνου σου Αναστασίου Ρεός, Ανδρέου Ρεός, Γερμανού, Ιερμανακού. Νίστε τη Κύρια και του Δούνου σου Ιωάννου, Παρασκευής, Τελιανού. Νίστε τη Κύρια και του Δούνου σου Χρήστου, Πινελόπης, Μαριάνθης, Ανθής. Νίστε τη Κύρια και του Δούνου σου Γεωργίου, Ιερέος. Νίστε τη Κύρια και του Δούνου σου Νικολάου, Ιερέος, Αναστασίου, Ιερέος. Grant and rest our God with the light of your countenance shines. Again we ask you, Lord, Remember, all Orthodox bishops will rightly teach the word of your truth, all presbyters, all deacons in the service of Christ, and everyone in your holy orders. We also offer to you the spiritual worship for the whole world, for the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and for those living in purity and holiness, and for all those in public service. Permit them, O Lord, to serve and govern in peace, that through the faithful conduct of their duties, we may live peaceful and serene lives in all piety and holiness. Above all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Yerasimus, and grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Remember also, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faith who dwell in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do terrible work, who serve in your holy churches, and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. And grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and majestic name, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the precious gifts here offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our loving God who has received them at his holy, heavenly, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance. May in return send upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. We entrust to you, loving Master, our whole life and hope, and we ask, pray, and entreat. Make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of our sins, forgiveness of our transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. And make us worthy, O Master, with confidence and without fear of condemnation, to dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, 
now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. We give thanks to the invisible King. By your infinite power, you created all things. And by your great mercy, you brought everything from nothing into being. <laughs> Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you. They have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Therefore, Master, guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the needs of each of us. Sail with those who sail. Travel with those who travel. And heal the sick, physician, of our souls and bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, hear us from your holy dwelling place and from the glorious throne of your kingdom. You are enthroned on high with the Father and are also invisibly present among us. Come and sanctify us and let your pure body and precious blood be given to us by your mighty hand and through us to all your people. Proscome. Tayatis, I is the holy guest for the holy people of God. Melizete, que dia merize, to omnos, to theo melizomenos, que mi depote dia panomenos, alatos metefondas, a yazo, pliedom apotirio, pistos pnematos, a yio, amin. The Holy Communion prayers on page 33. I believe, Lord, and confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and that this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy on me and forgive my transgressions, whether voluntary or involuntary, committed in word or deed, knowingly or unwittingly, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake in your pure mysteries, for remission of my sins, and for everlasting life. Amen. You have enticed me, O Christ, and I yearn for you. By your divine love, you have transformed me, consumed my sins in spiritual flame, and let me be filled with the sheer delight of you, O gracious Lord, that rejoicing I may magnify both your advent. How shall I, so unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? Forgive me. If I dare to enter the bridal feast, my clothing will disgrace me, since it is not a wedding garment. Then I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, and not these holy gifts be my condemnation because of my unworthiness. Instead, may I receive them for the cleansing and sanctification of both soul and body, and as a pledge of the future life and your kingdom. It is good for me to cling to my God and to place in him the hope of my salvation Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of this mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as a Judas, but like the thief, I confess you, Lord, remember me in your kingdom.
We welcome all of our guests and our visitors this morning. We're glad to have you with us. Brother, we respectfully remind you that the sacrament of Holy Communion is reserved for those who are baptized or chrismated Orthodox Christian in good sacramental standing with the Church, who have properly prepared through fasting, prayer, and the sacrament of Holy Confession. Therefore, if you're not Orthodox, or if you have not properly prepared, we would ask respectfully that you remain in the pews during Holy Communion. But then at the end of the service, if you wish, you may come forward to receive a blessing from the priest. There's further information in the cards in the pews. Thank you. Το ύψο τα χιλιά μου και αφελεί κύριο σπάσα σαν αμίας μου και τις αμαρτίες μου περί καθαρή. Ανάσταση Χριστού Θεασάμνη προσκυνείς ο μνάγιον Κύριον Ιησού του μόνο μάρτητον το σταυρόν σου Χριστέ προσκυνούμε εκ την υγεία σου ανάσταση υμνούμε εκ δοξάζουμε σίγαρο Θεός ημών εκτός ο άλλος που κείδομαι το όνομά σου ονομάζομαι δεύτε πάντες η πιστή προσκυνήσουμε του Χριστού Αγία Ανάσταση και του γαρίθε του σταυρού ενώδου κόσμου για παντός αυλογούνται στον Κύριο υμνούμεν την Ανάσταση αυτού σταυρόγαρη που μείνες ημάς τον άρτο θάνατο όλες τα. Δίκεν καμφόρτε να ρεσίβει το πλάτο του Αγίου και του Σαβιού Ιησούς Χριστ για την φοβήνωση των σας και την ζωή σας ευαλαστή. With the fear of God, faith and love draw near. Με τα φόβου θεοπίστεως και αγάπης προσέλθετε. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia. 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 Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I will bless the Lord at all times. His patience be ever my lips. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Forgive us of our sins. And life everlasting. Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Mary, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Benjamin, 
receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God the servant of God, Matthew, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, your years. The servant of God, Edward, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of his sins. The servant of God, Andonius, the servant of God, Stavros, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Andre receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Lord Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of, Lord, of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. But the body of the Lord is the Lord of the Lord. The body of the Lord is the Lord of the Lord. The body of the Lord is the Lord of the Lord. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Carol, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Christine, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Jacqueline receives the, the body and blood of, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the receives forgiveness the of your sins. The servant of God, James, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Anthony, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Beatrice, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God John receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Μεταλαμβάνει ο Θεό του Θεού Κωνσταντίνο. Σώμα και με Χριστού Ισά, αφήσει να μαρτυρώνει και η ζωή αιώνια να μην. The servant of God. Σάφιο, μεταλαμβάνει σώμα και με Χριστού Ισά, αφήσει να μαρτυρώνει και η ζωή αιώνια να μην. The servant of God. Anna receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God. Νίκη, μεταλαμβάνει σώμα και με Χριστού Ισά, αφήσει να μαρτυρώνει. The servant of God, Ioannis, metalavani soma ke ma Christu Isa pos na martion ke zoin e onio na mindos. Dimitri metalavani soma ke ma Christu Isa pos na martion ke zoin e onio na mindos. Metalavani o dolus tu teo iorgios soma ke ma Christu Isa pos na martion ke zoin e onio na mindos. The servant of God, Anna, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and life. Everlasting. The servant of God, Anna, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Eleni, metalavani soma ke me Christu Isa fesi na martion ki zoin e onion amin. The servant of God, Stavrula, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Ionisia, metalavani soma ke me Christu. Σάφεση να μαρτιών και ζωή αιώνιον μην. Με τα λαμβάνει ο δολού του Θεού Ανδρέα. Σώμα και με Χριστού. Η σάφεση να μαρτιών και ζωή αιώνιον μην. The servant of God. Catherine receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God. Ιωαννέλα receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Genesis receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For the forgiveness of your sins, the servant of God, Fortini, metalavani soma ke me Christu Isa fes na martion. The servant of God, Pinelopi, 
με τα λαμβάνει ο σώμα και με Χριστού. Η σάφη σου είναι μαστιόν και η ζωή αιώνιο να μην. Με τα λαμβάνει ο δούλου του Θεού τελειανό, σώμα και με Χριστού. Η σάφη σου είναι μαστιόν και η ζωή αιώνιο να μην. Με τα λαμβάνει ο δούλου του Θεού αθανάσιο, σώμα και με Χριστού. Η σάφη σου είναι μαστιόν και η ζωή αιώνιο να μην. Το σώμα και με Χριστού. For the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. Με τα λαμβάνει τα servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God. Receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Με τα λαμβάνει ο δούλου του Θεού. Σώμα και με Χριστού. Η σάφη στην αμαρτιόν και η ζωή αιώνιο να μην. Με τα λαμβάνει ο δούλου του Θεού. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God is in you. Let the Lord your soul make you free. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord. Ιωάννης με τα λαμβάνει σώμα και με Χριστού. Η σάφη στην αμαρτιόν και η ζωή αιώνια να μην. The servant of God George receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God Maria receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God Maria receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God Dimitri receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Seraphim, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Metalavani Soma Kema Christi, Holy Xeni, Metalavani Soma Kema Christi, Safis Namastion, Kezoin, Eonian Amin, Metalavani Odorus of the Unicola, Soma Kema Christi, Safis Namastion, Kezoin, Eonian Amin, the servant of God, Anna, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, the servant of God, Nicoletta, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, the servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Anna, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, George, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Irini, Metalavani, Soma, Kemakris, Tuis, Alphys, Ramastion. The servant of God, Anna, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Maria, the servant of God, James, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Lydia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, David, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Patricia, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Jacob, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Kiki, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. The servant of God, Mary, 
receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, your year, με τα λαβάνια σώμα και με Χριστού ει άφεση των αμαρτιών και ζωή αιώνια να μην. Με τα λαβάνια του Λούστου Θεού Βασίλειο, σώμα και με Χριστού ει άφεση των αμαρτιών και ζωή αιώνια να μην. The servant of God, Anastasius, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior. The servant of God, Dionysius, με τα λαβάνια σώμα και με Χριστού ει άφεση των αμαρτιών και ζωή αιώνια να μην. The servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God Athanasius receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God. Christina, με τα λαβάνια σώμα και με Χριστού, η σάφη στην αμαρτιών και η ζωή αιώνια να μην. The servant of God, Thomas, με τα λαβάνια σώμα και με Χριστού, η σάφη στην αμαρτιών. The servant of God, Lina, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Mara, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Andrew, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, the servant of God. The servant of God, David, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Edward, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Alexander Peter, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, George and Maria Alexandra receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The servant of God, Mary, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. The servant of God, Job, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. The servant of God, Jeffrey, receives the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins and life everlasting. Thank you, John. Σώσον ο Θεός των λαών Σου και ευλογήσον την κληρονομία Σου. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. And let your glory be over all the earth. Blessed is our God, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 
Ορθή με τα λαβόντια στο θείο να γίνουν αφράτων. partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily give thanks to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, that on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in the right path, Establish us firmly in your fear, guard our lives, and make our endeavors safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and of the, uh, very, the Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are our sanctification, and to you we give glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those in public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ our God, you are the fulfillment of the law and the prophets. You have fulfilled all the dispensation of the Father. Fill our hearts with the joy and gladness, always now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. I hope glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, as a good and loving and merciful God, have mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mother, the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable vitalist powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner, John the Baptist, the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, our holy and God-bearing fathers of St. Paul, the patron saint of our church, the holy and righteous ancestors Joachim and Anna, of St. Fevronia and Procopi, 
whose memory we commemorate today and of all your saints. Through the prayers of Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. May the blessing of our Lord be with you all the days of your lives. Please be seated. As you look at the Sunday Bulletin, you can see we still have, even though it's summer and uh, most people are going on vacation, uh, we still have a lot of things going on. So please, at your leisure, uh, look. We have uh, services uh, for this uh, Thursday coming. Uh, for Saints Peter and Paul. We also have uh, the Holy Apostles on Friday. So if you can, uh, please come to those services. And I wanna bring your attention on page eight. There's a summer sale for Kulurakia and more. Today, outside the coffee hour is where it's gonna happen. So if you want some Kulurakia or whatever they have there for sale, I'm sure that uh, uh, you can find many things that will be to your liking. And also, uh, we have put in the uh, 32nd annual uh, St. Paul's Golf Classic, which will be coming up in August, but it's never too soon to uh, start thinking about it. In today's Gospel reading, we heard Deacon Daniel read the following page, uh, uh, passage. The eyes, or rather the eye, is the lamp of the body. So if your eye is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is not sound, your whole body will be full of darkness. Here our Lord describes the eye as a lamp which lights the entire body. Our eyes are the entrance to our hearts and and minds, and um, as such, they provide a window into our souls. Throughout the ages, the eyes have been considered the windows of our soul. By eye, Jesus means our soul. If we read this gospel verse once again, but this time substituting soul for the word eye, it would read this way. The soul is the lamp of the body. So if your soul is sound, your whole body will be full of light. But if your soul is not sound, your whole body will be filled with darkness. If then the soul is in darkness or has become darkened, the question might be, how did it become this way? Our soul becomes dark when it is covered up by pessimism, prejudice, hatred, lust, arrogance, envy, and jealousy. It is through these and many other negative influences that our soul becomes darkened. This darkness destroys our entire view of those around us and of the world at large. If people have hate in their hearts, they cannot see or feel our love or the love of Christ. These people are condemned in their own self-imposed darkness. The people who are jealous or envious will most likely try to degrade, humiliate, or put down those around them. If our soul if our soul is tainted with darkness, then we see people and things not as they really are, but as distortions of whatever our prejudice might be. Over the years, I have repeated two short stories illustrating everyday examples of being predisposed to certain points of view. The first story is this. Several good friends went to Washington, D.C. to visit their senator. Among the friends was a therapist, a shoemaker, and a tailor. 
After visiting the senator, each friend privately shared what they really thought of him. The therapist saw things from a therapist's perspective. The shoemaker saw things from a shoemaker's perspective. And the tailor saw things from a tailor's perspective. Each of these friends had their own perspective. If you were there, you too would have your own point of view, your own perspective of the senator. Each of these friends were influenced by their own prejudice, their own particular outlook on life. The therapist perceived that the senator had an angry issue. The shoemaker eyeing the senator's shoes concluded that the senator was not a walker or a runner. The tailor thought that the senator had no fashion sense because of the suit he wore. Each of the visiting friends had their own take and their own perspective on the senator. The lesson or meaning of this story is we judge as we are. Our eyes see things from our own perspective. The other story goes like this. Someone asked the evil man to find one good person in the world, but the evil man could not because he saw evil in everyone. In the same story, a good man was asked to find an evil person, but the good man could not because he saw at least some good in everyone. These two short stories illustrate that we judge others from our own essence, our own perspective, our own soul. Make no mistake, we are predisposed to our own prejudice and our own point of view. Whatever we're made of is what we see in others. If we are bad, we see bad in others. If we are good, we see good in others. 25 centuries ago, Heraclitus said, eyes and ears are bad witnesses to those who have barbarian souls. Evilness sees evil everywhere. Evil people easily become witnesses, judges, and executioners because their soul is permeated with the darkness of evil, and these evil people are blinded to any sort of goodness. Jesus is always calling us to keep the windows of our souls clear and free of corruption so that we may be receptive to divine illuminating light, truth, and the righteousness of God. We must do this throughout, through constant spiritual examination, constant repentance, and periodic confession. True humble prayer must always take place before undertaking any task, especially before and after receiving Holy Communion. Someone once said, we are the measure of all things. While this may be true for a great deal of people, it should never be true for those of us who follow Jesus Christ. For us, it is Jesus Christ who is the measure of all things. Christ in the gospel, Christ in our church hymns, Christ in our holy tradition, Christ in our hearts, and Christ in our souls. My dear brothers, sisters, visitors, and friends, at the end of today's gospel reading, St. Matthew concludes by saying, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. If we seek the kingdom of Christ and fill our hearts and souls with the righteousness of Christ, then the light in us will be great, our soul will be illumined, and we will truly be children of the Most High God. If our soul is sound, we have the light and the love of Jesus Christ in us for all the world to see. Blessed be the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
I want to thank 